Hey YouTube, today we've placed some street lights, signs and bins in Bricktown. Hey everyone and welcome to Brick Talk TV. We're continuing our Rebuild of Bricktown series today and as ever I'll stick a link in the top right to the playlist in case you've missed any of the previous episodes. And do remember to hit that like button if you enjoy this episode and hit that subscribe button to be notified about our next instalment in the series. Here you can see how we left Bricktown last episode, just after we've added some disabled parking bays, and in this episode we're going to be adding in some more paving details onto our sidewalks by adding in some street lights, street signs and some waste bins. Before we place these items, let's take a closer look at how they're constructed. First up our street lights. Here we're using a standard street light construction, the type you get included in all the modular buildings from LEGO. I like this simple design and I did contemplate getting lights that actually light up but decided against that as I don't think I'd actually use it that much. The way the sidewalks are constructed it would allow me to run some wires underneath so we could get some lit up street lights but for me this wasn't a real concern for me and maybe I'll do it in a future rebuild. The light is constructed using a white dish piece, a trans clear minifigure head for the light and a standard lamp post stem piece. Finally we insert that into a 2x2 dark bluish plate to integrate it into the paving tiles that we'll add in the future. You stick all of these items together to form the light. We've got 52 of these to place in Bricktown. Next we have our rubbish bins. These are the same design that I used before in Bricktown and we have 48 of these to place today. They are constructed using a green crate piece that has a 2x2 curved piece stuck onto the top of the crate. We then stick a 2x2 dark bluish plate into the bottom of the crate to integrate it again into our paving. I think this gives a good looking bin and I chose green to stand out and give a recycling type of look, but of course you could do it in any other available colours such as brown or black. You can also follow a previous episode top right here where we built this bin originally alongside some other paving detail objects. Finally we're going to be placing these street signs. Again we used these before in Bricktown and we have 8 signs here in pairs so people know where they are. I've built these before in a previous episode so we'll also put that episode in the top right here and in the description below if you're interested to see how to build it. Essentially you stick a custom tile on a 2x4 black plate. I'll stick a link to the sign and the custom tiles in the description below. And then you make two poles from 1x1 black bricks and 1x1 bricks with studs on the side to connect to the plate and tile. On top of the pole you finish it off with a curved 1x1 brick like this. These will be placed on 2x2 jumper tiles to connect to our paving. Now if you look at this layout diagram you can see how we're going to name our Bricktown roads. You'll see we have two unnamed streets here pictured by question marks and I'd like you to comment in the thread below of this video with your suggestions for some road names. Those names that get the most likes will be created into a custom tile and placed into Bricktown so do comment and like below and I might even send you a set of the tiles with the same name on for your Lego city. So let's head over to the Lego room and Bricktown and start placing our existing road signs. First up is Brick Lane. This road is usually full of the places to go out in Bricktown, so this name works quite well for me. We'll be adding these jumper tiles to the paving foundation area and adding the signs on top. I like to try to place these at either end of the street so people know where they are when they turn onto the street. So let's speed up and place all the road signs together. Next up we are placing the street lights. In the previous incarnation of Bricktown 
I placed these in line on both sides of the road, but this time I think I'll stagger the layout of the lights across both sides of the road so they don't line up. So let's start by placing these throughout Bricktown. Now we're going to place the bins. These go roughly in between the street lights about midway and on both sides of the road. So let's put these in place with the openings of the bin facing in into the paving area. So there we go, we've added more detail to the paving areas now of Bricktown and here you can see how we're leaving the town in this episode. Remember to comment in the thread below for those road name ideas and if you get the likes we'll be naming one of our two roads after the name you suggest and you could be receiving some custom tiles. If you enjoyed this video do hit that like button and hit that subscribe button to be notified about our next episode in the Bricktown rebuild. And next time we're going to be starting to put some modular buildings back into the city by starting to populate the modulars in Brick Lane. So join me next time to take a look at how Brick Lane starts to shape up. And until then, stay safe and I'll see you then. <laughs>